Today I've been joined now by the president of the Scottish FA. Mike Mulraney is here in Stuttgart. And Mike, how are the nerves? Yeah, it's fantastic. It's uh, great nerves. Nerves where you're looking forward to success. So it's uh, about as good as it can be. What have you made of the Euros so far? Well, I think it's been so far a great competition, but for me, you know, as a Scotsman, it's been fantastic to watch the Tartan Army, you know, being celebrated by the whole of Germany. Just talk us, tell us a bit about the, the Tartan Army because they have seemed to take over, but it's all good nature and all good spirit. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, of, course, of course, and I assume it will continue, but they're fantastic, fantastic fans, fantastic fans for many years. And uh, it seems every time we go to a city, we take it over. So it's absolutely brilliant. And we're getting so much positive feedback from the, from the locals. It's uh, truly, truly wonderful and a great expression of what football can do. Yeah, proper ambassadors. What would it mean to them and to you if Scotland can get the win tonight? Oh, it's obviously massive in many levels. You know, we've, we've never qualified beyond the first stage. Everyone knows that, you know, and I think we've got a real chance. Hungary are a really good team and we know that. But, you know, if Scotland play well, I, th I really believe we can beat anyone. After that first game, obviously, there was a bit of negativity the way we lost. But what does it say about Steve Clark that he, he doesn't panic? He just he has that calm demeanour where you know that he was going to make sure Scotland bounced back. Yeah, I think it's the flip side of I'm not getting too excited when we win. You know, so it's the mark of the manager. He's very, very calm. He knows what he wants to do. He doesn't get too worried when we get beat and he doesn't get too carried away when we, lo when we win. So he's the perfect Scottish manager. I was just going to say, how much do you enjoy working with him now that you, you've been in this role as the Scottish FA president? Yeah, I mean, it's. Uh, I was involved in, you know, when we selected Steve and we believe we had the right chap and it's proven beyond any doubt that we've got the right chap for the job. Now, if Scotland were to qualify out the group, but even though they're here in Germany anyway, what is the legacy that you want to see for Scotland qualifying for the tournament, but potentially out the group stages for the rest of, of time when you're in charge? I think there's two parts to that. One part is the, the aspiration, you know, the aspiration of the fans, the aspiration of one, young fans to realise that we don't just qualify now, that hopefully we go beyond that, which is really, really important. Qualifying can't be enough for Scotland. And there's a financial legacy, you know, and it's all about facilities in Scotland. Our facilities require upgrading, our facilities need renewing. And if we qualify, that all goes towards the, the current board's campaign to rebuild the infrastructure of Scottish football. How much do you review then after the Euros? What, what sort of things do you look at after the Euros that you look at and say, that was successful, we could do better there? What's the sort of policy there? I think it's across the board. You know, we can't do any better with our fans. You know, that's, that's a given. They're, they're fantastic and we can't teach them anything. You know, but there's always little bits we can tweak, you know, from the administrative point of view. You can always learn, you can always improve, just as I'm sure Steve does as well. You know, every, ca every campaign, you learn a little bit. So for us, it's about monetizing our game. I said it before and I'll say it again. We need facilities for young people to be able to play our sport. It's such a big year for Scotland as well because we're at the Euros. We're the only home nation that can win the Nations League. We're in that A division. The World Cup qualifiers, that's an aspiration for, for Scotland fans too. How exciting is it to be involved at the Scottish FA just now? It doesn't get any better. You know, for for us, we, we there's a limited amount which, that we can do to influence what happens on the park, but we can but it's limited. So it's it's absolutely fantastic for us to, be, to have that going on at the same time is so much hard work is going on off the park. So it's a truly exciting time, and part of that excitement is success brings opportunity, and it brings opportunity that's not seen in the, in the immediate term. It brings opportunity for the next generation of footballers, so it's fantastic. You convinced Steve Clark to, to take on the, the next Euros at Hampden Park when, when Scotland co-host? Listen, I think Steve's his own man and I'm absolutely sure he's, he's enjoying it and looking forward to the, the next challenge, which is the Nations League. And then we'll continue to the one after that and keep going. Just finally then, back to tonight. Um, what's your score prediction? What do you think will happen tonight? I never predict, I, but I do hope we win. Yeah. <laughs> but don't we all, don't yeah. we all. But it's, it's one of those ones where there's certainly that belief now. It's as I said, if we turn up, if we play our best football, we're capable of winning. There is no doubt about that, no doubt whatsoever. But they're a really good team, a really good team. You know, and their qualification campaign showed that. 
So it's going to be a it's going to be a cracker, you know. And they're still in it; they can still qualify, you know. So it's going to be an absolutely wonderful event. I'm sure the Tartan Army will make the atmosphere absolutely hot once again. It's fantastic to have been here, and we want to stay here. Mike, great to see you. Thank you very much for giving up your time.